A teaspoon of seawater can contain more than a million living creatures. Plankton, which form the base of virtually every ocean food web. And they are the main diet of one of the ocean's largest fish, the manta ray. Although they feed on some of the smallest organisms in the ocean, manta rays are gentle giants and the closest relatives of sharks. With large brains that more closely resemble that of a mammal, you could say they are underwater geniuses. They can gather in astounding numbers, and one of the best places to find them is the Maldives. Plankton comes from the Greek planktos, which means wandering. Plankton isn't one specific type of creature. It's any marine organism that drifts with the currents rather than using its own power. They come in all different shapes and sizes, from microscopic algae and bacteria to animals longer than a blue whale. And it is for plankton that we have come here to Amila Fushi in Baatol. just arriving to Hanifaru, a world-renowned bay, which makes the whole of Batol a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. And this is where the manta should be. Hanifaru Bay is the biggest manta feeding hotspot in the world. Yet the bay itself is actually quite small and serves as a scoop for all the plankton being carried up from the deep sea with the southwest monsoon current creating a delicious plankton soup. This has boosted the Maldivian economy as people travel from all over the world just to see this magnificent feeding performance. Absolutely nothing prepares you for like the action and chaos of being in the water with those mantas. It was surreal to see all of these like creatures appearing out of the murk um, and just dancing around you effortlessly and they are top to bottom from the sand to the surface and you honestly don't even know where to look or point your camera it was mind-blowing As a diving instructor here in the Maldives, I've been lucky enough to witness the beauty of manta rays, but also I've witnessed how incredibly important mantas are to the health of the oceans and also to the health of ecotourism, especially for the diving industry, but also snorkeling, as we're lucky here in Baratol to be close enough to the amazing Hanifaru Bay. Like a sky without birds, the ocean would feel empty without manta rays. Yet they are quickly disappearing before our eyes. Rays, the group which mantas belong to, are even more threatened than sharks. The global manta ray population has suffered a 30% decline over the last three generations. This is mainly due to overfishing and incidental bycatch. Manta rays are targeted for their gill plates used in traditional Chinese medicines. These gill plates filter the tiny zooplankton and are what make a manta a manta. This big animal is killed for a small yet very lucrative part of its body.
Warmer, more acidic water reduces the amount of plankton in the ocean, which is a big problem for the mantas, who feed exclusively on these tiny creatures. A combination of ocean pollution, fishing nets, habitat loss and overfishing have created the perfect storm for mantas. And just like sharks, mantas help buffer the effects of climate change as natural blue carbon sinks. Nature's very own solution. There's no denying that the world's climate is changing, resulting in increasingly negative impacts on ocean life. It is vital that conservation efforts include considerations for the protection of mantas. And as the Maldives has shown, it's time to coexist. Join us in episode three as we go in search of one of the most underappreciated marine habitats. Thank you.